Hello viewers. Today we are going to be servicing and cleaning a tower fan. This is my grandmother's fan. It actually had a, a failure to it. The rubber bearings gave out, but the top and the bottom, well the bottom one was on its way out. It didn't completely fail. But anyways, that's all been repaired and I'm ready to give it back to her. But before I do, I want to clean it because uh, the, the blower wheel is quite dirty and it needs to be lubricated as well so we're going to do that it's already partially disassembled from the repair so the way this works is it has a rubber bearing or a bearing that sits in rubber up here at the top and then there's a rubber piece on the bottom I'll show you as well this is the part that broke it was rubber all throughout and it just it was very thin and it just deteriorated over time and, and broke um, down here at the bottom we have to unscrew the blade just lift off and this is the other piece that was on its way out it was all rubber through here so I took this hot glue and just kind of replaced the rubber and I think I think that will hold it's, it seems very sturdy and it does have a little bit of the flex that it needed as well so that's pretty good so there's the blade we'll get that cleaned here's the motor it's just a generic uh, Chinese fan motor. It's got an awful lot of screws for some reason. I guess they didn't want anybody taking the motor off of here. But we're going to take it off anyways because that's just what we do here. And this fan was used in the kitchen for a while, so it's got a lot of grease on it. Definitely needs a good clean. Here's the motor. It's, uh, of course, a closed bearing, so I have to split it open to oil it, which I really didn't want to do, but I'm going to have to do it anyways. And underneath here, there is, I'm guessing, some kind of a synchronous motor that drives the oscillation because there's physically no way this, at least that I can see, that that would work. It does appear to be a PSC motor. Which is Moderately surprising. I thought this would just have a cheap shade of pole motor. Um, let's see here. I'd like to just pull all the electronics out so I can just pressure wash the entire thing. And it looks like, don't think I'm going to be able to do that. 
Bummer. All right. Well, whatever. Because the wire is in through there, and that's kind of obnoxious. Maybe if I can at least remove this front guard and clean this out, I'd, I'd be happy with that. Okay, so we can power wash this, we can power wash that, and if I have to just wash this down inside here by hand, so be it. It's not that difficult to do, now that I've got those two components, components out. Um, this, I would rather just stay in here because there's no advantage to taking it out at this point. Okay, so let's get the power washer going, clean these two items, and then we'll come back here and deal with the motor. I don't know what that is down there, that's kind of gross. Is that, uh... yeah, I couldn't tell you what that is. All right, so the parts have been power washed. I wiped down in here a little bit. It's not the best, but it's good enough. So let's see what we can do with this motor. I really wasn't expecting to have to open this up, but I guess we're gonna have to. screwed in with lock washers. It's a Chinhu Shun 40U motor, <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Part number YM126A22. zoom in here and see what this looks like. Oh, that's a surprisingly nice motor. Huh. I was not expecting that at all. Hmm. That is very interesting. That's a decent looking motor. Okay, well, there's not too much I want to do in here other than put some oil in there. So, here we go again. Blue can, three in one, specifically for fans. Now, this bottom bearing is. Close it. I guess it would make sense. Give it, well, I don't know. That's kind of strange. Unless this is some. It looks like this maybe has been designed to sit like this in particular because it's got a little nub on the end of the shaft there. So I, I guess this isn't such a cheesy motor after all. I don't see any noticeable wear on the shaft either. Huh. That's a pleasant surprise. I'm 
just going to put several drops of oil down here. So we don't have to service it again anytime soon. And wipe off the shaft. And I'll put some oil on here. And slide that back in there. Spinning quite freely. And now the front bearing, which looks to be a hair dirty, so let's clean that out. I guess the reason this isn't so bad is because this is from early 2000s. I think it's from 2002. So it's from just before the really, really cheap era where everything just turned to junk. Okay, I'm going to put the screws back in place and uh, I'll get the parts that I power washed. They are sitting outside drying in the sun. I think they're, they were dry in a matter of minutes because of how uh, hot it is and how strong the sun is today. Stiff. I'll loosen these screws a bit. Yeah, that's the screws are a little bit too tight. Sounds awful. Actually, sounds like it's scraping up against the uh, the rotor.
Oh, this is going to prove to be a pain. We're going to have to play with this for a minute. I just opened this up because I couldn't figure out what was going on, and now I see this piece in here. It'll definitely be causing a scraping sound. This is supposed to be the oil wick, and it's supposed to sit inside here, like this. I'm not exactly sure why that's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So let's try this again. Seems like it's very stiff, but put the screws in and see what happens. so tight. I don't understand why it doesn't want to be... It's not freeing up like a normal pairing. I don't really want to bang it again because that stinking piece is probably going to come falling out. But this is not good. I've been fiddling with it for quite some time now, and uh, it's not the greatest, but I think this is where it's going to stand. I think it's good enough, so I'll go get the other parts that were outside. Actually, before I get those parts, let's get the motor completely screwed in. We're back into place. Screws are now in. Okay. So, let's get the blade on here. Now, see it's very clean now. That power washer worked perfect. Uh, for things like this, it's well worth uh, the money the power washer costs. Anyways, um, this bearing has locked up in the past. So I'm going to pay close attention to getting this bearing oiled. And let's go ahead and slide the blade onto the fan now. And I'll take care of the bearing top one.
this crazy top bearing. I think it's reached the point where this bearing has enough play inside of there to actually spin within the rubber. So that's no good. Um, but I don't want to put any glue in there because that may cause it to not be able to move enough to uh, align. Okay. I believe this can be oiled, yeah, once it's in place. So I'll just put a little bit of oil on there for now. Well, that was actually more than I wanted, but whatever. Seems to have a pretty good spin down time. I'm going to put a number of drops of oil up here on the top again. No wicking up here, so it really just needs to be oiled regularly because it's not getting any uh, supply without the wicking. Alright, let's give it another test run and then we'll begin to reassemble it. It seems to be running quite nicely. I don't know how this motor stays cool. I don't really feel any air moving down here. And yeah, the spin down time could be better, but I think it's good enough. That's about as good as I can get it. We'll spend uh, unreasonable amounts of time fiddling with the thing. trying to get this part back on. It doesn't like to cooperate. There's some kind of clips on the bottom, but I don't really understand how they work. I can't get this whole thing in the video.
Oh, I see now how this works. Or do I? Mystery solved. Although, of course, the control panel is all cuckoo now. this thing up. Okay, and let's give it another test run and I'll put the other guard on That's acceptable. And this is uh, broken. I can't fix that. I just don't have the parts. But it used to open and close nicely. It's low. And the top guard here this piece has uh, vents that go up, so you kind of feel the breeze above the fan. For the amount of air, or for the amount of noise it makes, it actually moves a pretty good amount of air. Not a bad fan at all. And full power. Impressive actually how much air that throws. And it's not overly loud either. Okay, that's going to wrap this up. This is now working. It is 
I mean, it's still shaking a bit, but I don't think that's just because the thing is out of balance. It works. Yeah, I can see the blower wheel is not perfectly straight. That's no surprise. Alright, thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.